Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances in my collection or we talk about recommendation. This happens to be a subscriber recommendation. The question came uh, in my DMs or messaging, what are my favorite honey fragrances that's in my collection? So I decided to do a video on it. Uh, if you are new here and you've never heard of me, my name is Carly Nari. You can follow me on all my social medias. I normally recommend that you go to Instagram. That's where I start off at. I'm mostly on there. That's where I do my lives at. But if you are a returning subscriber, let's jump into my top seven honey fragrances. Stay tuned. Okay. So when you think of honey fragrances, right? So I try to pick fragrances that were in my collection that had a honey note in it right and then i decided that i were going to do them in the like from affordable to not so affordable all seven of them are absolutely amazing i truly do enjoy it so i decided to pick my favorites uh so my very first one i'm gonna kind of tell you about the notes and then i'll tell you um where i think you should wear this particular fragrance so my very first one is going to be scandal by night oh look at the juice on that isn't it gorgeous right <laughs> scandal by night is honey bitter orange citrus notes cherry tuberose orange blossom pear it has himalayan uh like a flower it has uh tonka bean vanilla patchouli sandalwood amberwood and white musk to me this is a tuberose fragrance right so it's two rose fragrance that they added honey to so if you have scandal the original then you know that one was heavy in two rose it had some gourmandness to it but it was mostly like a two rose fragrance so like a sweet floral when they added the honey they kind of upped the game and made it almost like a sticky sweet with the honey note uh for me this is honey two rose and a with a warm sandalwood base all right and where would i wear scandal i would actually wear scandal when i'm going like on a like a uh summer date like when you want to go out at night on a summer date that's when i wear scandal my next one um is going to be from serge latente and it is shakura if i'm saying it right shakuri shakura or chakuru Chakura, I think it is, right? And again, all of it, when you have like honey and a lot of vanilla, you know, that juice get real dark. This one here is tobacco leaf, honey, amber, incense, sandalwood, orris, like a more pottery note, must and rose. To me, this is over sexy. This is a gorgeous scent. I don't have a set time that I wear this particular fragrance. Mostly, I wear this one. I just want to smell good. Um, best worn in cool weather. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is tobacco and honey. Like a honey tobacco. That's what this is. Then you get this powdery iris note that comes in. This is good. <laughs> this one here is really good. All right. We're going to go with sweet oriental dream and i know you probably cannot see that uh because of how shiny the bottle is this is by montal this fragrance here is my go-to in the spring now i know a lot of people complain about the presentation right and i get that you know but uh unless you get a tester this comes off right so you can always just take it off right uh and you don't really know what uh, how much you have left in it until you pretty much have uh, have worn it all the way out. This one here is for all my almond lovers. If you love almond with a touch of uh, honey, then this is your fragrance, right? Because this is going to be almond, honey, vanilla, and rose. That's it. And the almond is like a like a like a creamy sweet almond with the honey on top. It's, it's really good. When I came across this one here, I I was like, it was it was on the where I was on the kick for Montal. I was buying a bunch of Montal fragrances, and I wanted to increase my almond uh, fragrances in my collection. So I ended up going with Sweet 
uh, Oriental Dream. Sweet Oriental Dream probably is one of my, my top buys from Montal. I often wear this one when uh, I'm wearing my almond scents. And normally I do that, I wanna say March ish, somewhere around March, April, uh, where here in Texas it's kind of raining a lot. So it's a cozy scent. That's when I reach for this one here. Sweet almond, I mean, sweet oriental dream. So hence, you see, I say almond. <laughs> to me, it's just almond. Okay, my next one is one that not only can women wear this one, but I also think it smells great on men, right? And I'm talking about Amen Pure Havana. This one, I can't tell you if you can find it. And if you find it, I think it's like a crazy price for it. So that I do apologize. But it is one of my favorite uh, honey fragrances. Honey and um, tobacco. It kind of give and take. I could put it in both of those categories. But this one here is white honey, tobacco, vanilla, cacao. It has a dirty patchouli. So you have to like a dirty patchouli, almost earthy patchouli, right? Amber, French Latimer, and Starex. But that patchouli, that, that more earthy patchouli is only really in the opening. Then it just becomes this gorgeous tobacco, honey, cacao, Latimer fragrance. Yeah, this one here, when I wear this, I often spray, I often get my husband this to put on and then I put it on and then we like this gorgeous scent bubble, right? When we out, it's like a gorgeous scent bubble. But that way, uh, there's no competition in fragrances. And one day I'm gonna do a video on how do I pair my fragrance to a fragrance that I say I put on my husband when we're going out somewhere so that way we're not conflicting. But again, that's another video. And if you wanna hear about that, Put it in the comments and let me know that you want to know how do I pair my fragrance with him or how can you compare your fragrance with your date, your significant other, or so forth on. But back to honey. This one here is one that I do. I'll wear it and he'll wear it when we out. If I'm not out with him, then I wear it by myself. But that white honey is like that pure honey. Like if you ever go get bee, and they normally have like a bee honey, right? It'll, it'll, it'll promote it as that, right? And it's that true honey note, not the um, artificial honey, like the thick honey. That's the note that's in here. But you're gonna mostly get honey, tobacco, cacao, that patchouli is gonna stay around and you're gonna get latherman. If you can find it and you don't break the pockets, then get it. If you know someone who has, has it and can send you a decant, then have them do that too. All right, my next one is also another one that can be worn both by a male or female, right? But when I got my hands on this one in particular, and I have the original one, not the one after um, the company was sold to Estee Lauder. I have the original one with the, um, the whole line, right? So the one that I'm talking about is Back to Black. Back to Black? Back to Black is so freaking sexy. It's one of them like, oh, God, it's one of the best makings by Killian. One of the, to me, one of the best makings, making the ones that he came out with. Now, when you look it up, it has a ton of notes. So I'm not gonna go through all the notes. I'm gonna tell you the ones that I think are standouts, right? So for me, it is the white honey, it's the to tobacco, there's a cherryness, there's a gingerbread note. Oh, that is in there. It's a ginger, it's almond, uh, it's a nutmeg in it. So the gingerbread and the nutmeg kind of plant off itself, kind of great. This is beautiful as a scent for the holidays. Gorgeous as a scent for the holidays. Benzoin, the Latterman, I do get some cardamom, and then saffron. Mm -hmm. I get saffron. So those are the standout now. Does it have a tremendous amount of notes in it? Yes, and I would say that you probably need to go probably look all that up. But if I had to choose, those are my standouts. It is a sweet, honey, fruity tobacco. That's the best way I can explain it. Sweet, honey, fruity tobacco. That's what this is. All right, my next one that I have is Sucella Boulant by Tom Ford, right? This one here, 
actually was one I had to do some searching to get at a reasonable price. This sucker is so good that they are it, it's it's everywhere and it's high price. There's a place here called the Cosmetic Store and they often sell fragrances there. And when they sell the fragrances, they'll have it at a discounted price and then take another 40 to 50 percent off. So if you got a cosmetic store in your area or you happen to be in Texas, please go there. Go there and get your fragrances. You're gonna get them at a great price. But this one here is what I would call a citrus honey, right? The opening to this one is gerangelum, I'm sorry, it's pink pepper, mandarin orange, bergamot, honey, orange uh, blossom. It has this reason note to it amber it has a woodiness and there's a leather this might be the only or some of the very few leather fragrances that i do actually have in my collection and then there's a vetiver but to me this is a orangey citrus honey that's what you get you're going to get that mandarin orange bergamot in the opening so it's going to be really bright so this is a spring scent for me. And when I wear this one is when I want to go to brunch with my girlfriends, right? And I want to project, but not be overbearing. So that after that opening passes, you're going to get honey. And then you're going to get orange blossom, right? Which is great all in itself. Then when it dry down on your skin, it gives this sexy, beautiful note of resin, amber, and like a woodiness. Like a woody a woodiness. The leather to me is the new car leather like when you first get a car you get into somebody who has a brand new car that leather note that's the leather that's in here for me but this is the fragrance that when i'm going to go out with my girlfriends and i want to stand out but not be overbearing then that's when i wear this one here and it's uh Sucelle brulant if i'm saying that right by Tom ford the last one that I have is one that I just got my hands on and I can't get enough of this fragrance. And it is All the Queen's Men by Fort Manly. I, I, I am in a chokehold for this line, first of all. And I have a video that talks uh, solely about this fragrance and I'll make sure to list it for you. Um, or of course, anything that I talk about, even all the fragrances and the links are in the description below, but this one here, now you're going to pay a little price for it. I want to say this goes for 250 fragrance net had them for 150 and they sold out like that, but it goes for about $250 on like scent, lucky scents, or, uh, it's, and I'll try to list other places you can find it, right? But this is All the Queen's Men. This is dried fruit, rum, honey, vanilla, woody notes, cinnamon, and like a greenish fur, fur on the back end of it. But you, the green is not there long. This is strictly dried fruit, rum, and honey. Dried fruit, rum, and honey. That's all. If that sounds delicious to you with a touch of vanilla that makes it not, it's not feminine nor masculine, but the woody notes kind of give it a base, all the Queen's men. This has to be, of my, of my seven, this has to be my number one right now. All right, we talked about my top seven honey fragrances that I have in my collection. Uh, if you have some fragrances that I did not mention, tell me about it in the comments, let everyone know so we can talk more about honey fragrances. This again was a subscriber request. They wanted me to talk about my honey fragrances in my collection. I told you about, uh, Scandal by Night, uh, Sh uh Shigura, Sh something like that by Shigura Shakur, I'm not quite sure, <laughs> by Serge Laton. I told you about Sweet Oriental Dream by Montal. Amen, Pure Havana. I did say that it, it is a bit overpriced right now, but if you can find somebody who have it, try it. Uh, Back to Black. Back to Black was one of my first honey fragrances I think I bought. Um, the last two that I just got my hands on is Solo uh, Brulant, I think, by Tom Ford. And then, of course, All the Queen's Men. I love all of them. I don't, 
I will say right now, all the kings, uh, queens, and men is my number one. But at any given day, that list can change up. Just right now, I happen to be locked in with Fort Manly. But for a while there, it was pure Havana. And then before I got pure Havana, it was Scandal by Night, right? So I love Honey Notes. And if you love Honey Notes too, then subscribe. Join my, uh, join the community. We talk about various things. We talk about stuff that you can be interested in. I often say that I am the host to your channel. So if you've been watching these videos, you have been enjoying everything, go ahead. Hit the notifications. That way you can catch these videos as they air. So I am going to say that I will see you in the next video.